Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, I'm really excited to talk to you today about Matthew 9. It's this incredible story that shows Jesus' power and authority that he has. So let's read Matthew 9, 1 through 8. And getting into a boat, he crossed over and came to his own city. And behold, some of the people brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. And behold, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your bed, and go home. And he rose and went home. And when the crowd saw it, they were afraid, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to men. See, this is an incredible story showing Jesus' power, authority, and his divinity. See, Jesus had just calmed a storm on the sea. He had just healed two crazy men who had demons. And now he's coming home to Capernaum. And there are people hearing of all the amazing things that Jesus has done. And a group of friends decide to bring their friend that's paralyzed to Jesus because they believe that Jesus can heal him. And Jesus does. But Jesus says that his sins are forgiven and the scribes lose their mind. They think that Jesus is blaspheming. They think he is lying, that he is claiming to do something that only God can do, um, which he was. Only God can forgive sins, but Jesus is God. Jesus is God in the flesh. And the scribes and the Pharisees, they did not believe that Jesus was who he said he was. But the very interesting thing is they didn't say this out loud. They thought it. And Jesus knew what they were thinking. Again, something only God can do. And this is showing Jesus' divinity. See, Jesus is fully human and fully God at the same time. And that's so important because he had to be fully human to understand us and be like us, but fully God to take the weight and wrath of God. It's punishment for our sins. And so Jesus is fully human and fully God at the same time. Um, and so he has all power and authority over um, sins and creation. Um, and he knew what the scribes were thinking. Um, and so, and he forgave sins. He can forgive sins. That's what he did for this man. And he healed him. It's this incredible power and authority. He has all power and authority over all of earth and heaven and everything. So my question is, do you live like Jesus has that same power and authority over your own life? See, we say that we believe in God, but do we actually make choices and choose to believe that he has authority over our individual lives, that he's not just Lord over creation, but that he's Lord over our individual personal lives? And do we make choices that live that out? Do you believe that God can forgive all all of your sins and restore you and bring you healing and hope and peace and joy that only comes through a relationship with Jesus? Do you believe that Jesus can change your friends' lives? And if so, do you invite them to church so they can meet Jesus as well? Do you make choices um, that show that you believe Jesus and then are willing to surrender everything to him as your Lord and King and choose to obey him? See, I would encourage you guys, have a conversation with God. Ask him, what do I need to surrender so that he can have complete and total power and authority over your life? And when you do that, he's going to change your life in incredible ways. So I hope that you guys have the conversation with God and see how he moves in your life. Have a great day, Calvary.